Hey everybody, it's Mona. I'm bringing you a challenge that I've entered. Um, it is from Linda who's Faye the Chick 777. She's having a You Choose Altered Spool Challenge. And this is the spool I made. There's two, two ways you can do it. You can make one with two spools and one with one spools. And she has specific things for each one of them. And she even has videos that you can look at. Um, to get some inspiration from. Um, it ends November 4th so you still have time um, and then you have to PM her with the link to your video or um, you know, it explains all that because you know because the new way YouTube is. Uh, I'm going to try to put the camera down. Well I'm going to do, I'll put it down in a second. Okay anyway, so one of the things, um, you have to put three of your uh, most horrid laces one, two, and three on the center of your spool. If you look, see how that's a spool? Mine's just long, okay? Um, and you have to, you can, the way I chose mine, I'm doing the first part, style number one, where it's required to have two spools, three flowers between the two spools, some type of clock on it, three of your hoarded laces, and your favorite styling colors. Well, everybody knows that I love pink. So, pink is my thing. Um, and so here we go. On top I have a handmade flower using um, one of the flower buds that Lindy gave me and then I made some rosette. Here, I'm going to do it like this. Rosettes and then these are the petals of the flower. I put it on top of a doily and I've got two butterflies, two white butterflies on the very front. So that's that. And then if you come down, you'll see I have some uh, pink ribbon trim here. And then I have these dimensional flowers, and they go all the way around the top. And then I have three of my favorite laces. This one Linda gave me. It is so soft and delicate. Uh, I just love this. I probably never ever use that. She gave it to me in other colors too, but the pink and white, probably won't ever use it. The second one is this, it's like Battenberg lace. It's like an applique type lace, and I've never used it, and I probably never will. And I want to hold on to it because it's so delicate and beautiful that I don't want to. And then here is some pink, and this is the softest lace I've ever bought. I think I got it from uh, Gisela, um, and I love it. I've used. I've only got a little bit of that left. I think it, it only goes around like three times now, I, and I just love it. So I'm going to keep what I have left there. And then on the bottom, I have a Martin, uh, Martha Stewart um, paper doily, and I put a flower, a group of flowers on there. These are um, wild orchid paper flowers, and these are the linen, um, and then I have some spray here, as you can see. And then I just took a pearl strand, and I just kind of haphazardly laid it down, like, you know, like where you put a, a pearl necklace on, on the ground, just doesn't stay in perfect form. So I did that. And then on the very back here, I added this charm. It's a pink butterfly and some uh, pink and white beads. And it's just dangling here in the back. Well, I know I told you that um, I decided to do two spools, and you're thinking, well, there's only one spool there, right? Let's see if I can do this. Hold on for just a second, y'all. You see, here's the bottom. Hold on. I'm getting there. It's hard to do. On the inside is a second spool. See? Here's the second spool. Now I'll pick the camera back up so you can look at it really close up. So, here's my first spool. Okay? And this was on the inside of that spool because this was a large tin can. And here it is. So, I lined the very bottom with a, um, these um, nylon type uh, carnations, they're white, and then on the top of the spool I have another uh, paper doily from Martha Stewart. I added uh, my treasure, it's one of those clear raised puffy type sticker thingies. Here's my clog, Linda, I don't think it's going to focus. So it looks a little bit better. And then I get again some more wild orchid flowers on top. I've got a butterfly stick pin right here. It's clear. It's acrylic. 
with the, the crown head and I just push that down to meet the flowers and then that butterfly I just love that I love the way the top of this turned out now for my three laces I have um, some pink rosette this is the very last I have of it they only went around like I think two times and then here is um, this is like a teal blue soft blue it's just beautiful I haven't I barely used any I've only given out like two feet of it I think um, I just love it it's so pretty and then up here at the top and I barely have any of this left it's a lace and bead trim and I just love this so it is at the very top I don't have like I said there's only one strand left of it mm, oh. so it will never go anywhere so, <laughs> so there we go two spools in one That's the very top of it again come down I have the three dimensional flowers here and y'all got those at the dollar store that's what um, this, uh, sticker and I love them I love using my cords and everything and then my beautiful de laces on the front and then the inner spool there we go and this is the top of the lid so imagine this um, thing turned upside down with the can you know those cans you, cans you get at Christmas that have cookies in them or wine bottles that's what this was and I used the same lace ribbon down here that I used up in there so there we go I hope you like it Linda it's gonna sit right here on my desk it's not going anywhere I really love it thanks for letting me uh, participate I hope everybody can go back over there remember it's uh, even though it's Linda it's Faith the Chick 777 that's from YouTube um, website and uh, participate you still have what probably a good week week and a half two weeks it's not over till November 4th so um, there we go. I hope everybody likes it. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.